Hello, welcome to 2 Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard and today I'm here to tell you about an out of this world cool application called Erosma. Erosma is an augmented reality application that allows you to take an everyday image, object, or location and bring it to life with digital content such as video, animation, or web link. Now I know what you're thinking, augmented reality, that sounds complicated, but nothing could be further from the truth with Erosma. It's so simple that I can get you up and running in just a couple of minutes and using this awesome application in your classroom today. So let's take a look at it. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is go to erosma.com where you're going to create an account. You're gonna put in a username, your email address, and then a password, and then that's going to take you to the Explore page where you can see content that other people have already created and kind of get an idea of how you wanna use this program. This is an example of an animation using the Back to the Future cover. You just download the application to your phone, you punch it, it turns into a sort of camera, and you point it at any object that has been tagged with an aura, and it will automatically start playing. Great Scott! <laughs> uh, who doesn't love Back to the Future, right? Anyway, that's an example of an animation. That's a pretty complicated example. One of the easier examples would be like the 10,000 BC cover that somebody had tagged with an aura. If you go down to it and preview it, here we go. It works kind of like a QR code. Once they point that application at that cover, it's going to take them to an external link, a Wikipedia page, that gives them information about the movie. Much simpler example, okay? So now that you've got some ideas of how you want to use this in your lesson, you want to go up to the top right hand corner and hit Create New Aura. Here we go, you're going to give it a name, and then you're going to upload the trigger image. This is the image that you want people to scan to start the augmented reality video or animation or whatever it is that you're doing. Once you've done that, you take the image and you highlight the area of the image that you want to actually trigger the augmented reality, and you hit Next. And then you're going to upload what it is that you're linking to that image. Uh, in this case, we're going to do a video that I created just as an example for our dress code. Here we go. And then you upload it super quick. And, and there you go. Now you can manipulate that video and it shows, you, it, it shows you what it's going to look like on top of that image. Once you get everything the way you would like it, you can change the frame color and everything else. There you go. And then you just hit save and then hit share. That's all you need to do. Now it's out there in the world. Anybody that points that application at this dress code poster or anyone that's exactly like it is going to get this video right over the top of it. This is a test. This is where we can put information about the dress code if we were to use this program. Very informative, Adam. Thank you. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's very simple, very easy to use, but your imagination is really the limit with Erosma. Some of the ways that I've used it in my classroom are for scavenger hunts, where the students will scan an object and it will give them a video hint for the next object to go look for, or we'll use it in a student portfolio where you're flipping through their portfolio of work and you scan each piece of work and you'll get a video presentation about that work. It makes it a very interactive way to do a presentation. So I hope that I've stoked your curiosity about Erosma and how you can use it in your classroom. I think it's just an awesome application. I think it's so much fun. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe below. And each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technologies and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Two Minute Teacher Tech.